You know, it's so easy to run ourselves ragged between work and taking care of family, your kids. Even putting together fun social events can leave you feeling emotionally drained. So it's important to make sure that our own mental health is a priority. And here to tell us more about that is Jenny Edmondson. She is a licensed clinical social worker and counselor at Cone Health's Behavioral Health Partial Hospitalization Program. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Why is it that we always put ourselves second, third, fourth, depending on how many people you have in your family? Exactly. I, you know, I don't know the answer, but it's just rampant in our society that we always put ourselves last. And when we're putting ourselves last, we put our mental health at the bottom of that list as well. Um, we put such an emphasis on physical health in our society. Mm -hmm. um, without paying attention to the fact that mental health can actually impact our physical health so much. It suppresses our immune system when we're overly stressed, when we're not taking care of ourselves, and little colds can last weeks longer than it should. Ah, that's scary. It, it is. <laughs> it really is. So when, when you're, we talk about you know, putting ourselves first, um, there's, there's that old saying, if mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> but if mom's not he healthy, then nobody's healthy too, or dad for that, that matter. That's a really great point. Um, to take care of ourselves, we really need to you know, kind of work on two kind of main things to get us started. One, think about what is stressing you out. Notify, notice your triggers. Is it when you're not sleeping well? That's when you're snapping at the kids more, or that's whenever you're always late to work and things feel overwhelming. Or is it whenever, um, after you always talk to a specific person, uh, what is it that's triggering you? And then after that, think about what makes you happy. So is it when you're outside? Is it when you get to have breakfast with your family? Is it when you have a date night? Um, spending time with your animal, um, whatever it is. And then we want to try to pair those as much as possible. So whenever we know something stressful is going to happen, have something to counteract that that makes you happy within that same vicinity of time. Ah, that's a good, you know, I always think about maybe taking a time out for yourself. But if, if you know, I mean, you're going to have stresses daily will, for a lot exactly. of us, um, you know, counteracting it Mm -hmm. by doing something that you like is great. Definitely, it just kind of helps keep the balance even. We're thinking about small steps, you know, if I tell you to go out and just lose 20 pounds tomorrow, well that's completely that overwhelming lovely. and impossible, right? Yes. But if I say, hey, um, if you really like being outside, make sure you have your blinds open today. Can bring that natural sunlight in. If you like to feel the wind in your hair, uh, crack the windows while you're driving to work. Things that you're already doing, just adding those small things into your routine. Um, you always, you know, you love spending time with your pet and you're watching TV in the night, but you have them in the other room. Bring them into that room with you. Put them on the couch next to you and pet them to have some self-soothing while you're doing what you would already be doing anyway. Or if you're at work and, and you're stressed out by something, and you, you say take a time out and, and kind of walk away, maybe look yeah. at a picture of your pets That'd or be great. your kids or something like that. Does that work too? It does, exactly. Having stuff in your space that will remind you of the things that make you happy when they're not accessible. I like that a lot. Yeah. Are there online resources that people can go to? Do you know of? There are. There, you know, in the age of smartphones, there are so many apps, most of them free apps, that are tons um, of good information that are useful that can cue you to this kind of stuff. And if you, you know, you feel like you need help coming up with your list, or you feel like you need a little bit more than baby steps, Cone Health has so many counselors who are willing to help you. Ah. Great advice for sure. And speaking of that, you can find more resources from therapists, social workers, counselors, case managers to you name it, conehealth.com slash behavioral health. And for more healthy lifestyle tools and classes, check out conehealth.com slash wellness dash matters. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health. 5, times. 